Hey, what's up guys? Last week I published this image on Instagram and I got some requests to show a breakdown of it. So in today's video I'll show you a step-by-step -step of what I did to accomplish this result. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I publish my new videos. So first I went to some sites to get inspiration to, um, for the look that I want. And so I went to this one, house.com, and here you can check several photos. And I went to bathroom. Here you can select by the style, the, the color, color scheme, size, and you can just put green. Here I'm just trying to check something with a lot of uh, greenish elements. So this one is good. Uh, so I can, you can save this to a collection. Um, here you have a lot of references, even for the bathtub itself. But then I went also to Pinterest, because Pinterest, uh, when I put bathtub jungle, uh, here I have a lot more variety. So I just searched the ones that I really enjoyed as a reference. And I selected this one in the end. So now let me show you in my modeling software what I modeled so you can understand what is from Lumion and what is uh, actually 3D from the modeling software. So I use model and uh, here basically it's this. This is all that I modeled and uh, you can see here so I modeled the ground floor exterior floor, the exterior floor I made some extrusion because uh, as you can see in this reference we have here some, some stones on this area so uh, exterior floor because we can see again on this image you can tell that uh, we are inside another room seeing outside so I modeled this, I modeled the doors as well as you can see here and uh, so basically, this is all that I need. I assigned all the materials correctly and named, named the materials correctly. So it's easy for me in Lumion. And uh, I'll now show you uh, how this scene looks like inside Lumion. So basically, from Lumion, uh, the scene looks like this. Um, okay, so I just have this in Lumion. And that's it. So these trees, uh, this one here is to give me some shadows in these areas. And this one and th those two is to cover a little bit of the, the sky. Um, oops. The materials are all from Lumion library. Um, for example, as you can see here, I just use some of the, the ready materials and then I just change a little bit the color, a little bit the gloss, reflective, play around with the materials, a little bit of the weathering. Uh, one nice thing that Lumion has is this uh, round edge shader. So you see, instead of being like a very hard edge, you can just give it a little bit and it rounds the, these uh, edges for you. For these walls, I gave just a um, plaster material and I gave the same one to the bathtub, but I changed a little bit these properties, a little bit of less weathering. And uh, I used some of the new features from the Lumion 10, which is uh, the displacement maps, as you can see here on this one. So if, you, if I decrease this, and this is a completely flat texture but if let me put it back again if I increase this and then I play around with the displacement you see that it creates this geometry to give you the illusion see that going up and down the slopes so it's way way better now with these new materials then I added this this ones as well it's called fine detail nature and this was a nice addition as well. It has, you can see really the, all the leaves and the leaves actually have this um, 
subsurface a little bit. These ones are from uh, the normal library the, that exists in Lumion 9. Uh, just this one, this one, and this one, and this one too, are from the new ones called Fine Detail Nature. So if you go here, you can see that they have still, it's not a lot, but uh, they have some with great detail, as you can see here. So you can see really, if you go up close, you can see all of these details. Um, then, let me... Here is this. So in terms of materials, it's just basically uh, going to each material, tweaking and uh, just finding the best material. Uh, because even here I started with some tiles on the floor. It's all the time a process until you get the, the one that you think it's better. Uh, about these stones, I also had some little grass here, elements. Uh, to give a little bit more realism, so it's not everything super perfect. Now let's go to the render. So for now I'll just disable the reflection. Okay, so this is my scene. So I try to match the best possible to this scene here. Um, so I've seen some people complaining about the um, that you can only render uh, in this 16 by 9 horizontally in, in Lumion, but if you add an effect called uh, just a second this image overlay, you can add your own custom image with an alpha channel, so you can make your own proportions of the image like five by four, one by one. So uh, you just have to later. Um, Cut the image in, uh, in in Photoshop. So, but you can ask, will it render still with these uh, black bars? Yes. But the idea of this is that later you can still cut it in Photoshop. Uh, you can crop it in Photoshop. But here you can already work with a with a square ratio that you you want, and you see exactly how it's going to look. Instead of, for example, if I put like this. I have all of this area and I can see clearly how it will look. So it's a, it's a nice thing. Um, then I should start in this scene with a real, realistic style and I'll start adding some presets like analog color. So this one I just uh, left with a default style and decreased a little bit because it starts around here. So it's way, way too much. So I left it around here just to give a little bit of color, um, the fog on the background to give some depth as well, uh, volumetric sunlight, it's nice to, to have all of this sun rays coming in, as you can see. Um, ah, by the way, in Lumion 10 now you can make the, say so click inside the preview window to update, so you can make a, a fast render uh, and you will see more or less closer to how it will look in the end. Just when you change something, it will go back to the previous one. So for example, now I disable this, if I click it again, now I see again this, so I'll put it back in, render again, so it's nice. Then I have uh, real skies, I use this one and I try to get the, the best position. This is very important, how you choose the lighting for your scene. Um, because see, if I choose more or less here, I can still catch some shadows, you know, all of these shadows give nice details in the walls. Uh, as opposed if I have, for example, straight, let's say, well, you can say, for example, like this, everything else is in the shadow. We have a lot of this uh, volumetric light. We cannot see things clear. And if it's like this, all straight at the wall, it's too blown out as well, see? We cannot see many details because the highlights are all uh, overexposed. So this this way, how I had it, uh, I can still get some shadow, some contrast and some point of focus. Then I just play around a little bit with the brightness and the overall brightness of the, of the real sky. Sharpen, usually depending on the scene, I leave it at around 0.4 to 1, no, no more than that. 
exposure I decrease a little bit this, the exposure for this scene because I, uh, I want especially this, this area to be uh, less with less light um, what else reflection well reflection here I just added the reflection planes needed ah, and speaking of reflection uh, I also added the reflection probe uh, oops I just removed it okay uh, reflection control. So this will tell uh, Lumion which areas should reflect properly. So if you put it here, all of these areas, areas will reflect properly. So it's very important, especially for interiors, even though this is more like ex interior, exterior scene, but it's very important to use those. Hyperlight, no, not much here as well. Skylight, yeah, skylight, I put all of this up and this saturation, if you put it all the way to this side, it will be super super blue so it's good to have just a little bit so you can still have some bluish from the from the sky but not like over like this <laughs> so let's just put this back and I, I, I put the, the planar reflections projected reflections and everything to ultra when I'm ready to render um, shadow so shadow here i increased a little bit the brightness uh, if you decrease completely you see that these shadows will become really really dark on these areas here if i increase like it was i can start seeing back some details um, omni shadow with some occlusion so i put it a half more or less chromatic aberration it's very important to not have like usually Lumion has all this like in all the scene which I think it's not realistic at all so what I do I put this one very high and then I start decreasing the affected area and the dispersion so it's just a little bit on the edges and that's it then I just hit render then I do a lot of work in Photoshop to get the exact look that I want so I'll go over to Photoshop and I'll show you how this scene looks like so as you can see here, uh, I have all of these layers, it's a lot of them, but these ones usually I duplicate when I start a, a new project, I import the image and then I duplicate the layer uh, and I go to camera raw filter and here I start changing a lot of values to get the exact look that I want. So nothing like this of course, because this scene is already with the values that I want. Um, then I have a hue and saturation, specifically on these uh, lips, because they were, as you can see here, like this. I didn't like the color that, I, that they wore, so I just changed a little bit the saturation. Uh, that's why it's important to render this uh, material ID, because this material ID, you can just go to Photoshop then and just select the color that you want, to what you think is best. I usually when I select this, I just then go to feather and feather one or two pixels. So it doesn't give like a very sharp uh, edge. But going back here, uh, again, this part was too still with a lot of light. So I just create a mask and uh, decreased the saturation and uh, the lightness of it. This one, I start adding some elements, um, like some, some of these uh, dirt elements here and more here and then I created a mask, I start masking out these elements. Um, here on the bathtub I wanted to create this dirt as well. With a dirt mask, like the water is usually dripping from here, so I created this and put just a little bit greenish to match with all the green that we have here. You know, just created this color. Yeah, this here was to, it's in the um, ambient occlusion. I usually use it to give some shadows to the areas that uh, the Lumen doesn't give shadow where it's supposed to be. So, as you can see here, I just increased a little bit the shadow here because Lumion doesn't create enough and it looks like the, the bathtub is a little bit floating. So, now it's better. The reflection mask uh, as well, to, to give just the reflection, a little bit more reflection in some, some areas, like the statue, the faucet. Then I start adding some color correction, uh, even on top of camera raw, uh, like color balance. You see, I give a little bit more greenish uh, warm tones. 
curves as well so they were it was too exposed overexposed here so i decreased a little bit on the walls here since there is a lot of vegetation going around here i imagine that all of this area probably would have some um, already some dirt here from this vegetation so i just created a little mask here as you can see and to do this again i just selected this uh, purple color and uh, then i start painting on on these areas with a with a with a brush of like with like 25 15 opacity and on multiply mode um what else this ah yes as you can see this part here was too bright as well too greenish too bright so i just decreased a little bit see much much better now because this is not my main focus of the scene um, then another color balance on top of it still and this one as you can see here if i disable it this area which should be the main focus was really really dark in comparison to the rest so I just created another curve and created a mask and increased the lightness on the the brightness on the, on this part a little bit. And then just my signature and that's it. So this is all I did for this scene. It's quite simple. It just takes a, a little bit of time to fine tune all the materials and find the correct look that uh, that you want. And if you have any questions, just leave your comments below the video. So I hope you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I publish my new videos. See you in the next ones!